Garrett Von Rosenberg joining us now. Coach, we're going over some of the uh, the biggest team numbers first. Points in the paint, 36-28. You had to feel pretty good about that one. There's a this box score goes all over the place today. Yeah, you know we uh, we we had some we had some toughness on the defensive end. Obviously, we gave up way too many offensive rebounds. Um, but I thought we battled. You know what's uh, the disappointing part is that you just don't battle against Lubbock Christian. Um, and then you come into this game and you battle. you, you got to be more con- – we, we have to be more consistent as, as a group, as a program, coaching staff, just all the way around. Um, you know, got to gotta give Angela State a lot of credit. Um, they did a really, really good job. Um, they were well prepared. Uh, they guarded us and made it hard on us. And, and I thought we did the same. You know, both, both of us knew each other very well. And, uh, you know, again, they just made one more play than we did down the end. But I love our fight. Um, you know, there's a couple times there it got to six, eight, something like that. Um, we were able to battle back, get right back in the game, and uh, make it a game there at the end. Tell you what, that uh, looked like the Deontay Terrell that everybody would love to see. He just was blistering in the second half, scoring all 16 of his points. Ended up uh, 22 minutes, 7 of 13, hit a couple of threes. That's not bad, but it was only half a game. Yeah, no, he was good. Uh, he really gave us um, a good scoring lift in that second half. They had a hard time dealing with him, um, and he did a nice job. Uh, you know, you just you know give up an offensive rebound tie game uh, when they miss the front end of one one. Just those little plays. It's it's hard to beat a good basketball team when you do that. Um, but like I just said, in there we're not we're not going anywhere. We're not going away. Um, we knew this game was going to be hard and was going to come down to the wire if we played well, and and it did. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a loss, but, you know, we gotta, we got to look forward and, and continue to get better. You know, Coach, I'm sure everybody notices Ronald Bell on film, one of the leaders for Angelo State, had a double-double today, 12 points, 11 rebounds. But what about Andre Sibarguin, number 11? He had a double-double as well with 15 points and 13 boards. Does he always – does he look that big on film down low as he did today? Yeah, he's the number one offensive rebounder in the, in the league. Um, we knew he was going to be a, a, a handful. Um, the, and the problem was, you know, we did a really good job on, on Bell. You know, to get his 12 points, he had to take 16 shots. Um, but then you let Andres go, uh, you know, five for five, and then he gets to the foul line seven times as well. He, he really he really gives a lot of problems and, and, and made it hard on us. Looking back over on the Lions side of the ledger, River Reed gets a start today. Plays over 20 minutes, seven rebounds out of him. He had a couple of points, but an assist, a steal, uh, three offensive boards. He, his performance is kind of all over the place, isn't it? Well, yeah, and I, well, I thought he brought a lot of energy and just toughness and, and, and really banging and scrapping. You know, I, I figured he was going to foul out of the game uh, with, with that matchup he had. and I didn't want him to worry about fouls either. Throw your body around and, and you know, make it tough on those guys down low. Uh, and he did a good job of that. You know, obviously we wish we'd have had him a little longer in the game. Maybe we get that rebound at the end. But you know, it's part of basketball, and you get five of them when when your fifth one's called. You got to go sit on the bench. So, um, all in all, I thought we competed, did a nice job. All right, coach. You, you got to remind the guys keep on that mantra. I suppose is just compete. And, and you know, your message to them is don't panic. First and foremost. Well, you can't because it's not, it's not going to get easier. You know, now you go on the road for two, and, uh, you know, we, we didn't take care of home court, obviously. Oh, well, we got Tyler um, next week first. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, we got a home game next week. We'll, we'll take a few days off, and we'll have a few hard practices uh, and get ready for Tyler. You know, Tyler's played everyone tough, um, and they're a tough team. They really get after you. They're physical. Um, so we got to be ready to go and find a way to get one. Coach, you, you look at your starting lineups, game in and game out, and those have been uh, pretty different, don't don't bet on them being the same one game to the next. But that's as much as you're trying to find the right combination. Yeah, and it was, it was more matchups today. We, we threw a zone at them just to start the game, uh, just to kind of change up the rhythm of what they were doing. So we went really big um, with Wayne and, and two other forwards out there. Um, that was just a matchup thing. And, you know, we'll get back and, and get prepared for Tyler and, and see what that's going to look like. Alex Peavy uh, gets more and more starts. And he wasn't out there just for a matchup, was he? Or was that... Uh, the scheme putting him out. He's been improving. Yeah, no, no. He, he. I mean, he, he's capable of starting, but it, it was a matchup thing today to start River, Peavy, and Wayne all together. Um, we usually start three guards or whatever you want to call them, um, but uh, the matchup is the way it worked out uh, today. And I thought, you know, it's there's there's no moral victory is what I, what I just said in that locker room. Um, 
It's really not because it, this is February basketball. We got we got to win games and we got to keep competing at a high level. Um, but it, it it's got to be a reminder of how how hard we have to compete to give ourselves a chance to win. Um, and, and that's what we got to continue to do. And if if we can take that away at all from this game, then it can help us moving forward. All right, coach. Thanks for coming over after this one. We'll get them next time. Yep, we'll go right back at it. Uh, appreciate. University uh, Athletic Department did an unbelievable job with this weekend, gave us great crowds. Uh, you know, it's a shame that, that, that we didn't, um, you know, capitalize on it. But, um, you know, I know that, you know, they'll continue to support us and we'll continue to fight to win every game that we can. All right. That's Coach Rose, Jarrett Von Rosenberg, your A&M Commerce men. We need to take a break. We'll come back and get all the numbers for you right after this. Keep it here, friends, on 88.9 KETR. It's the home. Look, we got a camera of the Lions Sports Network. We'll be back. You got it. Go Lions.